Hello everyone, Xanderman112 here doing a review video of the Cornerstone CM9 mod uh, ROM. What makes this ROM different? It's based on Cyanogen Mod 9 as of, as far as I know, April 24th. It includes a couple of mods, one of them just being the Web CM9 mod that changes your running apps list to the WebOS style which, you know, lets you close it up or down, slide to the left and right. And the big thing about this ROM that makes it different from all the others is, of course, Cornerstone. So we're going to go ahead and launch this. It lets you run three apps on the screen at once. On this side, I have my launcher. Over here, I have Google. And down here, I have Tapatalk. So, I can open XDA forums, I can go to the support page for the Zmote controller, and over here I can load YouTube all at once. And yes, watching videos does work. So let's start watching this video from XDA TV. Now we can we won't make it full screen, that'll cover the whole thing. Also, it's Friday, April 27th, 2012. My name is Jordan, and you're watching XDA TV. As you can see over here, I have Tapa Talk running, and the video is still playing. Now, if you want, you can leave Cornerstone open, but hidden, to allow you to still have your full screen apps. Like so. If you want to get rid of it, then there's this little X button down here. Now we'll go through the cornerstone settings, if I can hit it with my finger. Basically what it allows you to do is change the default applications for these side panels, and it lets you decide if you want cornerstone to launch on startup. I choose for it not to start up at launch simply because I don't always need to run three apps at once but it's not that hard to launch it from the app drawer um, this ROM does include the same kernel included in the nightlies so if that's the kernel you usually like to keep with then it's in here see there Android version 4.0.4 CM9 unofficial, of course. This isn't the official ROM. But yeah, that's about it. I mean, you can do whatever you want. My personal use, I use IRC over here. Uh, let's check Twitter over here. Well, Plume has issues sometimes. But there you go. See, now it's working. And view XDA down here, all at once. The last window you've interacted with is what the window that these controls down here use. So if I'm over here, I type this one, you notice there's a blue bar above it. If I hit the back button, it affects that window. If I tap this, the blue bar goes there, and the back button affects this window. If I go over here, both of these windows have a black bar and this is the window that the buttons control. Very simple to use. The developer, I uh, cannot remember his name, we'll go there while I'm talking, has been very, um, well, I don't know exactly the word. He's been paying attention to user feedback, fixing bugs as they've gone. The ROM is now version 1.5. And here we go. The developer, Antif Antifon, Antifon, not sure exactly. But the uh, version release candidate 1.5. He is, as the post says, working on an AOKP version, Android Open Kang project version. But as of now, that is unavailable. As far as I know, yeah, coming soon. As far as I know, he found some bugs and 
stopped him from releasing it when he was going to. But that should be on the way soon. And anything else, not really anything else to go over except for the fact that this does include all of the CM9 settings, you know, for trebuchet, the launcher application, your themes, which of course isn't included yet. And, oops, I backed out of that. And the system themes, such as the command bar. So, there you go. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, share it on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description. And as always, well, still in this from QBKing77, thanks for watching.